Oh no, that can only mean one thing. And if we go to our inbox, yep, the Razorback Armada has returned. Which of course that message gives you the blueprint to actually visit Razorback, but first you have to get a hold of the cryptographic ELU to build these things, and you will need at least three of them. And you will also need to put it into your gear wheel. And we can always find out exactly what the best mission is for this because, well, it's... Oh, there's actually nobody doing it. That's never happened for a long time. Cryptographic ELU drops from Arcwing missions. Basically any Arc mission. Arcwing mission anywhere. The longest of which is the mobile defense. Oh, hang on. My bad. Yay, there it goes. The mobile defense, the normal mobile defense, not the steel path one, though, was actually... Oh, okay, I remember which one I need to do. Normal, not, not steel path, just do the normal one, and you can tell that's where the best place is to go, because open squads, there's people actually playing it. Razorback, of course, being uh, the Earth Relay, Strata Relay, and I don't know what I clicked on there. Could you stop, stop, stop? Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Uh, there it is, heading straight towards the... There's something in the way here that Digital Extreme kind of forgot about. But as you can see, you have to do it three times to get a hold of the Oroken Catalyst and the 200,000 credits. Or, slightly more importantly, save the Strata Relay. And probably slightly more important than that, it has a chance to drop the parts to build the Gorgon Wraith. That would be the barrel, the blueprint, the receiver, or the stock at roughly 18.97% per part. And it's actually a pretty decent weapon. Was using this on the circuit steel path yesterday, and to my amazement, without modifying it or any changing what mods are on it, it actually worked very well. Could have been better, but that's down to me poorly modding it because I haven't used it in so long. But it is probably my favourite of all of the Gorgon weapons. As well as, of course, let's not forget the 120% puncture mods can also drop from, well, the Eidolon, Mutalist Incursions, or from the Razorback Armada. And as well as the, I want to say the Heat and status chance for Arc Gun, but technically the Arc Melee is there as well, but it's the Arc Gun one you kind of want, because it allows you to basically use it in Arc Guns with Gravamags equipped. That can be very useful, that's more useful. One noteworthy thing while doing this mission, it will be completely full of Bursa and uh, those mini Jackals. I cannot remember what they're called. I want to say the Hyena Packs, but... They're slightly annoying, and they will be absolutely everywhere. Ah, look. Hyenas. But they do drop pretty decent things, and if you don't have the sigil from them yet, it's a great place to get a hold of those. That's the wrong way. Of course, to actually take out Razorback after a sneaky little uh, scan, all you have to do is go to either side of the room and jump up there. Uh, Hack the terminal, assuming it will ever... Okay, auto breach. I'll take it. And it will spawn one of them. I love it when you're playing with people who know what they're doing. The bursa will appear. The bursa is the only way to take down... Oh, wrong weapon. Wrong weapon. Oh, I thought I had my Branton. Laser weapons don't work that well on him. Basically, keep doing that because, as you can see, zero damage because he's got a shield on him. The only way to take the shield down is, of course, to get a Bursa to come out. Uh, my bad. I should have done that. And then... Haki Haki. Yeah, I was on that duty, because that's pretty much all I can do, because this this doesn't do any damage. Oh, wait. I'm hitting for that. Oh, no. It's gone zeros again. Damn it! One last time. Bursa, take you down, and gone. Do that three times, and that's it. you basically done and after the third one when you come out you will receive a message to your inbox that basically says thank you for helping he has 200,000 credits and he has your built Oroken catalyst which is always fairly handy the other main reason to actually do this mission is 
the timer, the four days where we started this, four days and six hours, I believe it said, or could have said four days and five hours. It doesn't take that long to do those missions, literally. Three minutes, about five minutes per mission. Very easy to do, so we probably said five hours. Not really sure, I cannot remember when I started this, to be fair. If it's not stopped before that timer expires, well, and it's gone. Oh, there's a corpus ship in the background there. Poor, 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 poor Vespa. And with that, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.